Hey guys, first tech up here. So, the Techno Phantom X versus the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Which one should you buy? In this video, I'm going to compare the two devices side by side, find out which is the best, and finally let you know which one you should buy and the one I will personally go for and why. But before we begin, let's get the price out of the way. The Redmi Note 10 Pro cost about 147,000 Naira or $360 for the 8 GB variant, which is what I have here. Don't worry, we're going to get to the specifications of both phones in a second. While the Techno Phantom X cost about 228,000 Naira or $540, which is way more than the Redmi Note 10 Pro. But why is it so? Is it really worth that amount? Let's find out. When it comes to the design and build quality on both phones, I have to say that the Phantom X takes things a notch above the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Don't get me wrong, both are actually great and both are made from glass. But where the Phantom X takes the cake is the all premium material that it uses which is metal and curved glass construction. While the Redmi has a plastic frame and a glass construction. I know design is subjective and your preference might differ from mine. But in this regard, I feel like the Phantom X is a little bit ahead of the Redmi Note 10 Pro when it comes to design. Both are well made even though they both feel very fragile. The curved design construction of the Phantom X is on another level and keeping it side by side with the Redmi Note 10 Pro, it makes me appreciate it even more. But do let me know which design you prefer in the comment section below. As for me, the Phantom X wins in this regard. Moving on, let's talk about the display. Both devices use the 1080p AMOLED display and they are very fantastic. However, the Redmi Note 10 Pro is a bit brighter than that of the Phantom X. The Phantom X and the Redmi Note 10 Pro offers Gorilla Glass 5 protection on the front and the back of the device. Both displays support HDR10 for HDR content. The Redmi Note 10 Pro supports up to 120Hz of screen refresh rate while the Phantom X offers just 90Hz. Something to keep in mind is, if you keep the two side by side, you'll be hard pressed to tell the difference between 120 and 90Hz. Not like the difference is not there. It is there but you will find it very difficult to really tell the difference. The Redmi Note 10 Pro can go up to 1200 nits of peak brightness while the Phantom X can only get up to 500 nits max. Which is why the Redmi Note 10 Pro display is a lot brighter than the Phantom X display especially when you are outdoors. However, I'm not gonna lie, the Phantom X curved display is more pleasing to the eye than the Redmi Note 10 Pro display. Both are excellent display and I cannot really say one is better than the other apart from the fact that the Redmi Note 10 Pro display is a lot brighter. So I'm going to call this a tie. So when it comes to the security aspect of both phones, the Phantom X uses a futuristic approach which is the on-screen fingerprint scanner or under-display fingerprint scanner, while the Redmi Note 10 Pro comes with a side-mounted fingerprint scanner. To tell you the truth, the side-mounted fingerprint scanner on the Redmi is more convenient, super fast and 99% of the time reliable. The on-screen fingerprint scanner is still a new tech and its implementation is still in its early stages even though it has been around for some years. The one on the Phantom X is fast and accurate but it is still far from the response you get with the physical fingerprint scanner. In this area, your preference should be the deciding factor for you. But as for me, I am leaning towards the side-mounted fingerprint scanner on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Before we proceed further, let's talk about our sponsor for today's video which is Skillshare. I've talked about Skillshare several on this channel but if this is the first time you're watching my video or hearing me talk about Skillshare, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators and aspiring people who want to explore new skills and take their creative journey to the next level. You can never miss out on anything because there are classes for web development, graphics design, photography, film and video production and there is something that will always suit you on it. For instance, Recently, I've been on improving my cinematography skills and classes by Joe Simon on using a cinematography to convey emotion and connect more with your audience has been more than helpful. He talked about camera movement, lighting, framing and composition, how all of this can help tell your story in a unique way. One good thing about Skillshare is that the videos don't show any ads because it is designed specifically for learning which will allow you to focus more on your creative journey. If you're a creator or someone who's aspiring to become one, this is a great opportunity for you to click the link in the description and sign up immediately. It even gets better because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, so the first 1000 people to use the link in the description will get a 1 month free trial of Skillshare membership with full access to all the curated classes. So make sure to check the link in the description and also check my pinned comments. So moving on, let's talk about performance. The Redmi Note 10 Pro comes with a Snapdragon 732G processor paired with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. 
while the Phantom X comes with a MediaTek Halo G95 octa-core CPU, paired with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigabytes of internal storage. While both of them are very similar when it comes to performance, some people might prefer the Snapdragon processor on the Redmi Note 10 Pro because of Google GCam compatibility, general efficiency, and good software support from third-party developers. MediaTek, on the other hand, has come a long way and it is efficient too. It has also begun to gain some developer support as well, though it is nowhere near what you get from the Snapdragon counterpart. On the Geekbench course, the Redmi Note 10 Pro scores slightly better with a single core score of 564 and a multi core score of 1776, which is very impressive. The Phantom X has a single core score of 509 and a multi core score of 1678, which is not that far away from the Redmi Note 10 Pro. However, this is a scientific test and every number counts, so the Redmi Note 10 Pro wins with the Geekbench test. Moving on to the Antutu benchmark, this is where things turn around in favor of the Phantom X. The Techno Phantom X got a total score of 356,289, which is quite impressive. The Redmi Note 10 Pro on the other hand got a total score of 324,842. As you can see, the difference is negligible between the two devices. However, the Phantom X wins with the Antutu benchmark scores. If performance is your main concern on both devices, be rest assured that both are excellent. Both devices are snappy for multitasking, playing heavy game title, and can handle background apps efficiently. Performance is not a problem on these two devices, so you should be fine with any one that you end up choosing at the end of the day. Both devices come with Android 11 with their own custom skin, iOS version 7.6 for the Phantom X and MIUI 12.5 for the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Both operating systems are heavily skinned with Bluetooth. However, this time around with the Phantom X, Techno has streamlined how ads work on the Phantom X. You will barely see ads on the Phantom X, whereas the Redmi Note 10 Pro is a wall garden of ads. You will be bombarded with unwanted app notifications and ads left, right, and center on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, which is something most Techno devices apart from the Phantom X is so used to. I feel like the reasons for ads on the Redmi is why it is a lot cheaper and no ads on the Phantom X is also a contributing factor to why it is a lot expensive. Now let me know what you think about this. Will you rather pay a premium for a device with a flagship specs and no ads or will you choose to pay less for a device with a flagship specs and you will be bombarded with ads left, right and center? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video so far, if you hit on the like button, it's going to mean a lot to me. The speakers on both phones are great, but the Redmi Note 10 Pro with its 12 speakers blasts the Phantom X out of the way. There is no contest here. The speaker on the Redmi Note 10 Pro is just better with full sounding audio and vibrating bass. Just listen for yourself. If the Phantom X had come with a dual speaker like the Redmi, maybe it would have been able to compete. Now let's talk battery life. The Techno Phantom X comes with a 4700mAh battery while the Redmi Note 10 Pro comes with 5020mAh battery. Both are great and would definitely last you for a whole day on a single charge. However, for some reason, the Techno Phantom X tends to last a little longer than the Redmi Note 10 Pro. The Redmi device drains the battery faster than the Phantom X, which is weird. I was expecting the above 5000mAh battery to outshine the Phantom X, but that's not the case here. Thankfully, both comes with a 33W fast charger out of the box. It took the Redmi Note 10 Pro about 1 hour 30 minutes to charge from 0 to 100%. Then the Phantom X is a little snappy. It took it about 1 hour 20 minutes to charge from 0 to 100%. Now moving on to the part that you all have been waiting for which is the camera. The Techno Phantom X comes with a 50 megapixels main sensor, a 13 megapixels telephoto lens, a 50 megapixels ultra wide sensor, then in the front side we've got a 48 megapixels main selfie shooter accompanied by an 8 megapixels ultra wide sensor. The Redmi Note 10 Pro comes with a whooping 180 megapixels sensor, 8 megapixels ultra wide lens, a 5 megapixels macro lens and a 2 megapixels depth sensor. Then we've got a 16 megapixel selfie camera on the front side of the device. 
When it comes to an actual image quality, both are great. The images on both phones are very detailed and pleasing. However, the Redmi Note 10 Pro image has that deep saturated images that just makes everything look more pleasing to the eye. Dynamic range is also better on the Redmi Note 10 Pro image as you can see here. Most part of the highlights are blown out of the Phantom X image. But I like the natural look of the Phantom X image even though most people will really appreciate the vivid colors of the Redmi Note 10 Pro images. When it comes to night mode, the Techno Phantom X is doing a much better job here. The images are well exposed and if you should zoom in, it has some details too. Night mode from the Redmi Note 10 is okay but side by side with the Phantom X, the Techno device is better. Portrait image is okay on both smartphones with good details but the Redmi Note 10 Pro again has that sweet looking saturated colors that just makes it image stands out. Edge detection is great on both even though the Redmi image has a wider field of view. Moving on to selfie, here you can see that both images are very detailed and very pleasing to look at. Skin tone looks a bit natural on the Phantom but I feel like the Redmi is doing it for me here. The overall color reproduction is more pleasing on the Redmi device than the Techno. If you zoom in, the Phantom X image has slightly more details than that of the Redmi. However, dynamic range is way better on the Redmi image which is what a lot of people would prefer because as you can see here, the background is better managed and you can see some background details and some details in the sky as well. The same cannot be said about the Phantom X selfie images here. This is a portrait selfie and it just looks more pleasing on the Redmi device. The highlights are not blown away as it is on the Phantom X image. However, the Phantom X image is sharp with lots of details. When it comes to video, both shoot video in 4K 30 frames per second. With the rear camera and they look okay, they are sharp with good details. But I feel like the Redmi footage is a little bit brighter and there is no video stabilization when you're shooting in 4K on both devices. Hey guys, so this is the front facing camera of the Techno Phantom X and the Redmi Note 10 Pro. The Redmi Note 10 Pro can only shoot in 1080p 30 frames per second while the Techno Phantom X can shoot in 4K 30 frames per second. As you can see here, the Redmi Note 10 Pro is doing a lot better here. I like the skin tone and dynamic range seems to be a little bit better on the Redmi device than the Techno device. I'm not really say I'm not really going to say that both devices are so perfect when it comes to dynamic range, but as you can see here, both are actually fine. But let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Which do you really like? So guys, this is a 1080p footage with video stabilization turned on on both devices. Kindly let me know which one you like the most in the comment section below. I'm trying all my best to make sure I work very fast. As you can see, both footage are very stable. And even though it seems like the Redmi device is a lot brighter, but both are very okay. So that is it guys, a detailed comparison between the Techno Phantom X and the Redmi Note 10 Pro. As you can see, both devices perform very well in their respective areas even though the Redmi Note 10 Pro is very competitive. At 228,000 Naira, I feel like the Phantom X doesn't offer too much on paper. However, you really have to see it in person, maybe it might change your perception towards its price to value ratio. If the Phantom X had a much beefier processor, it would have been a little justifiable. As you can see, the Redmi Note 10 Pro is really giving the Phantom X a good fight and it comes in at a very reasonable amount. However, the Techno Phantom X is a much more premium device with a premium construction. I would say if you care so much about standing out or if you are a type that likes to brag a little, then the Phantom X might be the way forward for you. But if you are looking for the best of the best or you are to make a quick decision on which device to get out of the two without a blink, the Redmi Note 10 Pro is that device. So that is it guys, what do you guys think? Kindly let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the very next one. Bye bye. Okay, so I'll choose the Phantom X because it is beautiful, alright? <laughs>